Hello everyone, welcome back. And today's video, we'll be working on how to connect the physical layer. So there are four parts to this activity. Part one is identify physical characteristics of internet working devices. Part two, select correct modules for connectivity. Part three, connect devices. And part four, which will be check connectivity. So in this activity, you will explore the different options available on internet networking devices. You will also be required to determine which options provide the necessary connectivity when connecting multiple devices. Finally, you will add the correct modules and connect the devices. So let's get started. Part one, we will be identifying physical characteristics of internet working devices. Step one, identify the management ports of the Cisco router. Click the East router, the physical tab should be active. So on the packet tracer, click East router. This is the physical tab. So zoom in and expand the window to see the entire order. Uh, we will click zoom in and expand the window. And there are two management ports. One is the auxiliary port and one is the console port. And step C, uh, step C, which LAN and WAN interface are available on the each router, and how many are there? So LAN, there are two to serial ports, and WAN, there are two Ethernet interfaces. Click CLS tab, press the Enter key to access the mode prompt, and enter the following commands. So we will be opening CLI command on the each router. And type show, show IP interface brief. So the output verifies the correct numbers of interfaces and this uh, designation. The VLAN one interface is a virtual interface that only exists in software. So how many physical interfaces are listed? There are one, two, three, four. There are two giga ethernet and two serial ports. So on the east router, give a command of show interface giga ethernet zero slash zero and you will see all the information of the this interface so it is asking us what is the default bandwidth of this interface the default bandwidth is one zero 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 kilobits and we'll be checking a default bandwidth for the serial as well. Show interface serial zero slash zero slash zero press enter. And the bandwidth is 1,544 kilobits, which is not the actual bandwidth. Bandwidth on the serial interface is used by routing process to determine the best path to destination. It does not indicate the actual bandwidth of the interface. The actual bandwidth is negotiated with the service provider. So let's move on to step two of the part one. How many expansion slots are available to add additional modules to the each router? So on the each router, Click the physical tab, zoom in. 
So there is one right here, and the second one is right here, but which is covered. So let's say one for now. And click switch to how many expansion slots are available. Switch to right here. There are one, two, three, four, five. Since four already has uh, the plate on, which covers the port, there's one open. So we'll say one for now. Let's move on to part two of this activity, which is selecting correct modules for connectivity. Step one, determine which module provides uh, required connectivity. Click East and then click physical tab. On the left uh, beneath the module label, you'll see the available options to expand the capability of the router. Click each module, a picture and a description displays at the bottom. So familiarize yourself with this option. You need to connect PC one, two, three to the East router, but you do not have the necessary funds to purchase a new switch. Which module can you use to connect the three PCs on the East router? So we will see that in a second. How many hosts can you connect to the router using this module? Okay, so let's go to East router. So these are the modules I was talking about. So there are one, two, three, four, five, six. This one is just a gigabit ethernet board. So it is asking us to put any module that we can connect three pieces on it. So we will see any ethernet port. So if you see on the picture right here, you may be able to figure it out. So if you see right here, there are four ports. So let's add this to this module, uh, to this router. Uh, first turn the router off, then add the module and turn it on. So there are four interfaces on the, additional interfaces on the router now. So we can connect up to four additional hosts. So uh, for B, click switch to which module can you insert to provide a gigabit optical connection to switch three. So we will open switch two now. Uh, so it is asking us uh, to put one gigabit optical connection. So optical connection looks something like this and it is a gigabit ethernet network so we will be putting this in a switch to so first turn the switch off first turn the switch off and put this on right here zoom out and turn the switch on perfect so we are moving to step two add the correct modules and power up devices so first click East and attempt to insert the appropriate module from step 1A. Module are added by clicking the module and dragging it to the empty slot on the device. We already did that. So they cannot add a module when the power is on. We already know, message should display, blah, blah, blah. So we already did this. Using the same procedure, insert the module. Yes, we already did the switch to as well. Use the IP interface brief command on switch to, to identify the slot in which the module was placed. So into which slot was it inserted? So if we go back to packet tracer, click switch to, it is inserted on one, two, three, four, five, fifth slot. So let's verify it. Go to uh, CLI tab, enable and give show IP interface brief. So one, one, two, three, four, five. So if you see the fifth one, 
we inserted the extra module on it. So it is on Giga Ethernet 5 slash mode. Part three, connect devices. This may be the first activity you have done where you are required to connect devices. Although you may not know the purpose of the different cable types, use the table below and follow these guidelines to successfully connect all the devices. Select appropriate cable type, click the first device and select the specific interface. Click the second device in the same. If you correctly connect the two device, you will see your score increase. So score is right in the bottom of this activity. If you see right now, it is at the completion rate of zero percent. So as an example, it is saying as to connect east to the switch one, select the copper straight through cable type, click east and choose Giga turn zero, then, uh, then click switch one and choose Giga turn zero one. Your score should now be four out of 55. So first we will click east and we will be using copper straight through. So if you go see in the left hand of the packet tracer, there is an orange bold icon, click on it and click copper straight through, click on switch, giga Ethernet zero slash one and we'll be connecting this to switch one. Let's see this. Okay, switch one, and we'll be using Giga Ethernet zero slash one on switch one as well. So if you see right here, the completion rate uh, in the middle is seven person. So we did this right. So let's go on and do rest of them. So east, same east router, copper straight through, from east, uh, Giga Ethernet zero one to the switch four, Giga Ethernet zero one. So copper straight to is Giga Ethernet zero one to switch four, Giga Ethernet zero one. Perfect. So we'll be using copper straight to for all the east. So we have three left. So we'll be connecting PC one, PC two, PC three with the fast Ethernet. So copper straight to east, fast Ethernet zero one zero PC one, fast Ethernet. Same with this. Same with this as well. So we are done with the east router right now. <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, now we will be connecting switch to switch one to PC four, five, and six. We'll be using copper straight through and the same interface, fast Ethernet. Uh, we'll be using fast Ethernet. So copper straight through, switch one, PC four, fast Ethernet. Same. And same as well. So we are done with the switch one. Now we'll be uh, connecting switch four to switch three with the copper crossover. Since these two are the same devices, that, that is why we are using copper crossover. And we will be using Giga Ethernet zero slash two. So, Copper crossover, Giga Ethernet, switch four. Okay. And switch three, you will be using Giga Ethernet three slash one. Perfect. Now we are connecting switch three with the switch two. So for this, you'll be using fiber. and selecting uh, Giga Ethernet 5 slash 1, same on switch 2, Giga Ethernet 5 slash 1. So we just did switch 3. 
now we'll be doing switch two and connecting PC seven, eight, nine with the copper straight through. Switch two, fast internet, seven, eight, and nine. Perfect. And now we'll be doing switch two with the access point. So we'll be using copper straight through again, and we'll be using giga ethernet three slash one. And to the access point, there's only one port, click on it, perfect. Now on the east router, which is right here, we'll be connecting a serial port and we'll be using serial DCE. Serial zero slash zero slash zero. And on the west, serial zero slash zero slash zero. Perfect. So we just connected all the devices. So if you see our score right here, it is at the completion rate of 100%. If you guys want to do the remaining activity you could or it's on you so all right in this video we have seen how to connect a physical network a physical layer network so if you guys have any questions any suggestions please comment below and stay tuned I uh, will see you in my next video. Bye.